Julian. He's not Spanish. He's <laughs> actually from France. So you're fr you're French. Yes, I'm. Not French Canadian, right? No, no. pure. Pure French. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. You know what made me uh, realize about the purpose of life is I was going to bed every every night and thinking. Uh, this is the danger. Hey, salam alaikum, guys. We're here in Spain. I'm with uh, our brother here, and we are we we're talking. Nice. We, we were talking about. Tell us, um, Julian, you accepted Islam, and before we get into the meat and potatoes of your story, just real quick, tell us what's the. What had you thinking? What turned on the thinking to have you reflect on what's the purpose of life? You know what made me uh, realize about the purpose of life is I was going to bed every every night and thinking, uh, what's what's the whole first about this life? You know, and um, I, I thought I was not upon the hack. I thought if I die tomorrow, uh, something very bad might happen to me, and uh, I thought I, I can't keep keep living my life without a real purpose that is given to me by God and uh, that's what it made me start to research in every type of religion and and then I found out there's no religion except Islam that tell you really what is your purpose so that's why for me it was a no-brainer uh, because there were there was no competition you know we've been talking about that you and I for the past few days is when you look at other religions even if you want to give them a chance to compete with Islam they become very quickly disqualified because at the end of the day if if a religion can't tell you what is the purpose of your life what what do you need it for you know and uh, to be honest as i always said i never wanted to be a muslim i never um, uh, wanted to uh, uh, you know practice islam as a, as a french i thought it would be very hard but because i wanted to be truthful to to my creator i had no choice to accept the truth and 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 God tells us what is the purpose is to worship him and, uh, and that was a game changer for me because now all I do in my life I, I focus on that I try to worship him the best way I can and I know everything else I do will be a, a bonus because uh, this is the true this is the true purpose we, we need to fulfill you guys got that gem that he had it in his na nature I mean a person is not fulfilled until the living purpose so you can be living for money what when that perishes you can't take it with you when you go so he started to reflect and that's the challenge now do that if you're seeking purpose ask the one who created you the owner of this heavens and, uh, of the creation of the heavens and the earth for guidance say guide me why am i here and then open up a world religions book start to look at the introduction to these religions make sure at the end you're sincere and then also include islam and then go ahead and compare one to another and without a doubt, if you're sincere and you're sincerely seeking the truth, God Almighty, the Creator, will guide you to that truth, which we believe is submission to His will. And that's Islam. And the other thing that he had mentioned, it was beautiful before we cut out, is worship. And worship in Islam is loving everything that the Creator loves for you to do that's good for you, because now you're living life according to your desires or according to God's game plan and staying away from everything that displeases the Creator. That's worship and he's living that. Stay tuned for more here with our brother in Spain, huh? Valencia. Valencia. <laughs>